Today's video is all about raising farm animals. That's right, we've got chickens, goats, goose, sheep, pigs, and cows. How much money can you make off these animals? Are they worth investing your focus into? Is it worth leveling your specialization up to 100 for these creatures? You're about to find out in today's video. I'm going to go over all the math, all the numbers. Is it worth it to breed these animals? Is it worth it to milk or harvest their eggs? Should you be butchering these guys? I've got all the answers coming right up. Now, if you watched my crop farming video or my herb farming video, this one's going to disappoint you a little bit, but animals are a little bit more complex because there's a lot more you can do with them. I'm going to get into all of that in just a little bit, but for now, we're going to talk about animal breeding. If you want to raise these animals to adulthood and hopefully you get a baby or two from them, which you can also sell, here's the numbers. As you can see, the average numbers, if you do not nurture the animals, are very low, um, but they're also a little bit high too. However, they are a gamble. For instance, cows, if you don't nurture them, do give you the best return rate at 2,427 silver on average, but you're going to be losing a lot of silver, 26,500, if you miss that 7.67% chance or whatever it is. Uh, on breeding so it is it can be costly if you're an unlucky fellow but if you were to do this a million times the average return rate for silver is 2427 it's not terrible but it's really not that great either as far as farmland goes there are far better options for you and then as you can also see that nurturing these animals due to the market costs is also not really worth it i mean you got chickens at 2960 leading the way and, and that's it uh, the bad thing though is the sales volume rate of these animals is incredibly low. I think maybe 100 baby chickens get bought on the market a day. So it's not really viable at all. It's honestly, you should not be uh, making money from these by purely just breeding them alone. You have to do way more with these animals if you want to turn a serious profit, okay? And we're going to talk about that next. Now, on pig and cow, I did, uh, I did round those down because it's just such a small amount that it wasn't it wasn't looking good so on average you're going to get about the same um a, a little bit more of course um because you're guaranteed the baby when you nurture them but other than that you're almost never going to get babies from these animals very rarely will you do and then it does add up but if you ran this simulation a million times it's going to be very close to these numbers all right so now let's talk about animal products and what you can expect in return for them on screen are the current market values as of September 4th, 2022, and let me tell you that these go way up and way down. I have spreadsheeted these for over four months now, and none of these are what they were four months ago, not even two months ago, three months ago. It is always all over the place. What happens is whenever something goes way up in value, like for instance right now, cow's milk is insane. A 2,400 silver profit for zero focus cost? Well, guess what's happening? There are cartel members right now that are going to put thousands of cows on thousands of islands and then spend carrots and feed all of them and produce milk and put them on the market. However, the cow's milk on the market is not a high volume item that sells considerably high. It is everything here. All of these animal products are very low volume sales items. If you do hen eggs, you lose 3,000 silver. So the thing is, is there are people, mainly the cartel or very old school players, who have been doing this since the game launched, and they have an, a massive amount of surplus of goods that they use and hold on to since the beginning of the game. So I don't know why you would ever spend food to get hen eggs. That would be a huge waste. All right. And then as far as milk, eggs and, and sheep's milk go and stuff like that. Um, they are used in cooking, which we are not calculating today. This is not a cooking video. This is purely an animal-based video. But if you wanted to right now, you could load up your islands with cows and then feed them carrots and then milk them. But possibly a week from now, possibly a few days from now, from when you're seeing this, whenever you're seeing this, cow's milk could completely tank in the market, which it has before. So this, honestly, none of, none of the values here you see on screen are going to hold by the time you probably watch this video, but you have to check the market yourself to get a good measure of how much silver you may be making or losing by feeding your animals. 
All right, so butchering animals is more of a chef thing, but I'm still going to talk about it because since you raise the animals, you need a way to profit off of them. And butchering is extremely tricky, okay? It's very hard to calculate, and I'm going to help you through it, okay? If you ever butcher an animal on your own island and not at a city, you get a 0% return rate, and you always lose silver because you can just sell the animal alive for more money than it's worth for 20 meat, okay? Because the market is so saturated with focus crafters that you are basically fighting against them on the market. If you do not focus craft at the cheapest butchers for your basic return, which will be 15%, which is three extra meats, you will sometimes break even, but you will always lose that break even silver when you list the meat for sale. So unless you use the meat to cook food with, you're losing every time, essentially. So you, you should never not focus craft uh, when you butcher your animals, okay? So the only real way, way to profit from butchering is to use focus, and the focus cost is kind of high until you have a max chef. A maxed out chef character with 100 across every food, which is going to run you about 111 million silver to get, will spend 17 focus points per 20 meat, which will yield you 29 meat. However, the butcher market is heavily, heavily controlled in the towns, so unless you have an associate discount, there are some cities you can't craft at at all. For instance, right now, as of S September 4th, you cannot craft at Bridgewatch or For Fort Sterling. There is one stall in Fort Sterling that's okay priced, still a little, a little overpriced, but it's out of food. The, the cartel shut it down. They they flooded it with crap, and now no one can use it. So you have to go to Limhurst, Carleone, Thetford, or Martlock to use those butchers. And that's, you know, time wasted if you're not from those towns. All right? Now, when you focus craft, you should never really honestly pay more than 350 silver per 20 meat. Okay? If you're paying any more than that, you're almost always going to be losing profits. So let's see how much the profits are per meat. They're pretty much all the same, but I'll show you anyway. All right, and here are the disappointing results that if you use a max leveled butcher, or a cook rather, to focus butcher your animals, you can see that it's barely even worth it, okay? So in order to use 10,000 focus on a chef at 17 focus per animal, you would need 588 animals. However, if you have a max spec animal breeder, you're only breeding 80 animals per day. So you would kind of do like a bulk butchering every like week or so. But I'm going to tell you right now as a max level chef myself, and if you look up several other chef YouTubers, for Albion Online obviously, uh, you can see that the return rates for the focus spend is absolutely not worth it. That is a laughable amount for a chef character. 1 million silver per day? Yeah, it sounds like a lot if you're not a crafter, but that is a horrible amount for 10,000 focus. That is absolutely not worth it at all. So you can see butchering these animals currently on the market, the best thing to butcher is the sheep, and the worst is the cow. But in general, just animal breeding in general, anim raising animals on a pasture, it's a lot of extra work, it's a lot of extra money that most new players won't have. And let me tell you, the golden the golden goose egg secret here the the absolute thing that the other youtubers don't want you to know about that the thing that the community as a whole has kept in the dark when the game first launched a very large amount of players from other games got together and they all specialized in raising animals not just pasture animals but mount animals and even kennel animals and the old guard of the game who have all the money who have been playing longer than all of us they are the ones that control the market for animals. So for you to enter the market, even if you're, if even if you like credit card swipe and uh, buy your way to maximum spec in like a weekend or something, you're never ever going to compete with them. You're never going to make a solid profit on the market compared to crop farming or herb farming. You should absolutely 100% never build a pasture on your islands. Not ever. Unless the market miraculously recovers, but it has not in the last three years, okay? Pasture animals are a meme. You should avoid them at all costs. And I hope that this video educates you on the amount of money that you can make with them if you really want to. Like, 
If you always dreamed about raising little baby cows into adults and milking them for their milkies, little milky wilkies, and then killing them and eating nice steak dinners, you know, you do you, little role player man guy. You go ahead and have your fun, okay? I'm gonna be over here making twice as much money with none of the effort growing my herb garden, okay? Go check out my herb garden video for riches and check out my farming crop uh, video for riches. Oh, look at that. The wheat seeds are coming in nicely. Uh, very cool. And uh, the pumpkins are nice and plump looking, but they need a little bit more time. Any anyway, guys, the point is, is that you should avoid raising animals. Raise plants instead. Plants don't fight back. Plants don't poop and crap and pee everywhere. They don't go oink oink in the night. I don't know if pigs actually stay up at night. Are pigs nocturnal? I don't think pigs are nocturnal. All right. Uh, this video took a very long time to make and a lot of math to do. So I appreciate you guys watching. If anything, leave a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. It's literally one click. You could always unclick it later if I say something you don't like or whatever. Okay, guys? So make sure you're subscribed because I got videos every single day on this channel. And uh, if you want to leave a monetary donation for all this math and help that I've given you to avoid a pitiful fate of being a, an animal farmer, uh, then click the thanks button down below. Leave me a money donation so I can eat some good food and come up with some fun stories, okay? I get a little grouchy if I don't eat in a while. Um, and I got some fun ones too. Anyway, also, become a channel member. Click that join button. It's five bucks a month. You get access to private, more personal videos. And in those videos, some of them are too good for the public. Some of them sum up my videos very, very quickly, so it will save you a lot of time. You'll be glad you did. There's a pinned comment with a playlist for members-only videos. You can check out the playlist and look at the videos if you want. And if you like them, or if one of those intrigues you, then become a channel member. Appreciate you so much. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. It's just one click. You know, it's I'm not asking for much. Just click the subscribe button already, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Mwah.